Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use tables to manipulate data like a spreadsheet program, or you can use them to store information for later retrieval during mail merges. You can store any information that you want to into the cells. You can edit the individual cell contents, or you can delete entire columns and rows as needed. Now to create a table, you can click the Insert Table button on the standard toolbar. Then you click and drag down the number of columns and rows that you would like to have in the table. And then simply release your mouse button to create a selected table with the number of columns and the number of rows that you chose from the button. Now you can always add or delete columns and rows later on in your table, but that's an easy way to get started. Now moving into cells to enter information is fairly easy. Just click with your mouse into the cell in which you would like to type the data. Also, note that as you type in your information, you may hit tab on your keyboard to move to the cell to the right. And when you're at the final right cell, if you hit tab, it will wrap you back down to the left and put you in the next line. Also, cells can contain many lines of text. When you're typing information into a cell, if you hit enter on your keyboard, it'll create a carriage return. One thing to note is that when you've reached the cell that's in the extreme lower right hand corner of your table, you only need to hit tab one more time on your keyboard in order to insert a new column. So at this point, when we hit tab, it'll just automatically insert a new row. Also, if you're typing text, and it's a fairly lengthy entry, notice that the text will automatically wrap itself. You only really need to press enter on your keyboard if you need to create a new paragraph. Also, just as with regular text, Cell entries can be formatted. You can format the cell and the table as well. So our text entries, we could select the text and use the, say, bold button on the formatting toolbar to bold them. But if you wanted to format the entire table quickly and easily, just click into the table, choose table from the menu bar, and then select the table auto format command. Here you can choose a category of table styles, and then in the table styles list, click on the one you'd like to apply. You can see it in the preview at the bottom. Also notice you can choose to elect to not have special formattings applied to the heading row, the first column, the last row, or the last column by deselecting the checkboxes. So if there was nothing special about your last row, you could uncheck it so that it'll look like the rest of the rows. Or for example, the last column, if that was not particularly unique, you could uncheck that. And whenever it looks the way that you want, you can simply click the OK button at the very bottom of the dialog box. And that'll apply the selected table layout. Also, 
we can format tables using the borders and shading options in the Tables and Borders toolbar, which we'll look at in a future lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.